The Franklin Half Dollar Series started in 1948. Proof started in 1950, though, and finding high grades in 67 are very, very hard. The, we, tonight we have the last three dates of the 50s are even rarer than the 60s. And it's a your choice, folks, 69.95 each, 57, 58, and or 59 bringing them all out to you together. And wait till you hear these numbers on populations. It is incredible. Now, as she said, finding Franklin's improved condition from the 50s is actually a lot harder than many collectors realize. Many focus on the last three issued during the 60s, but it's these coins that are the true collector's pieces. In 1957, they struck 1.2 million proof Franklin half dollars. Yet NGC is certified today just 14,582 in proof 57 or better condition. That's one in every 85 coins struck, and it comes down to just 1.1% of the entire mintage from 1957. That coin, when you can find it in ungraded condition, costs over $100. We are more than $30 less at just $69.95. The 1958 had even fewer Franklin struck in proof condition, just 875,652. Yet today, just 12,287 are known in NGC proof 67 or better condition. That breaks down just one in every 71 coins struck and comes out to less than one and a half percent of the entire population or mintage are known to exist today in this condition or better. The actual number is 1.4. When you can find the 1958 with our competition, they want over $120 for it. We are more than $50 less at just $69.95. The 1959, the last coin of the 50s in the Proof Franklin series, they struck 1.1 million total coins. Yet NGC has only certified 13,327. That's one in every 86 coins struck coming at barely above 1.1% of the original mintage. So all three of these coins are at least $23 less than our nearest competition with the 1959 costing $93 in ungraded condition. We are just $69.95 for stunning proof 67 coins certified by NGC. Now these are the proofs, everybody. These came out of these proof sets right here, the original Polypack. Back in 57, 58, and 59, proof sets came in a poly pack just like you see on your screen. They were made at the Philadelphia Mint, 90% silver on the big three, and that envelope. So part of the reason that we don't see high, many high grades, just like Alex referenced with the percentages of the populations of the mintages, uh, we don't see high grades because those coins slid around inside those poly packs and they just didn't grade well. Another reason is that in the 80s, silver went to $50 an ounce, People melted these coins, they melted uncirculated coins, circulated coins, culls, proofs, silverware, et cetera, anything silver was melted. So fast forward in the 80s, NGC, PCGS, of course, as well, starts grading. And now today, we just don't see those types of numbers. They're proved to be rarities in the half dollar series. These are the proofs, again, taken out of those proof sets in those three dates. We didn't transition to a hard plastic lens until 1968 when we moved over to the San Francisco Mint. So that is why these are just rarities in the series. Yes, and just $69.95 per coin for a proof 67 grade piece. If you got all three of them with us tonight, the 57, 58, and 59, the end of the era for 1950s Franklins, you would save over $100 compared to our competitors ungraded coins, with their lowest price being $93 for the 1959. So we're $100 less if you get all three with us tonight, and that's no guarantee that if you got an ungraded coin with them, that it would only take one round of certification to get a proof 67. And I know you can agree, Allison, you could send in several hundred of these coins. You're not getting back several hundred Absolutely proof 67s. Not. <laughs> with only 1% a little more than 1% of their mintages known in this condition are better today. They are true modern day collector's pieces, perfect for any collection. You can call in at 1-866-518-5933, or you can head to our website, abccoins.com. Head up to the search bar, and if you want the 1957 issue, it's item number 905-5878, that's 905-5878. 
for the 1958 issue, item number 905-6437, it's 905-6437, and for the 1959, the final Franklin proof released in the 1950s, it is item number 905-5813, 905-5813. And like we said, these are in stunning proof 67 condition for just $69.95 each, a price that has us the envy of our competition. Now, proof is a method of manufacture. It's not agreed. Just to start off with uh, what type of queen this is, this is a proof. They are struck twice under high, high pressure on highly polished dyes. Gives it that great, beautiful mirror-like ap appearance. And there are also so few made compared to the uncirculated coins. In 1957, you're looking at 5 million Philadelphia, almost 20 million Denver. And it's the same story for 58 and 59. 4 million, 24 million, 6 million and it goes up 13 million on the 59 Denver. Again, proof sets, there were only 1.2 million made in 57, under a million in 58, and just over a million in 59. You have the rarity factor, you have the quality factor, you have the grade as well, a 67 grade, where just fractions, under 1.5% for all three of these exist in 67 grade or higher. Join us folks, avccoins.com is a great alternative for ordering when the lines are busy or on hold. Join us, just enter those item numbers in the search bar, just $69.95 each. Alex just referenced before what the coins are selling for in ungraded condition. You're saving over $100 with us here tonight at AVC by getting these in 67 grade. Yeah, and now you heard us say it before that proof condition coins were made especially for the collector. It was something special the Mint would do because they knew that a lot of us really liked the designs and that proof strike truly makes them pop. But due to the poor packaging that Allison referenced before, pre-1968 proof coins don't really ever look like they're a collector's coin if you ever find one in the wild in your pocket change. As a result, 1950s or before proof condition coins are some of the most sought after pieces in collecting because very few of them will ever grade in a condition like Proof 67 or better. Case in point, all three of these coins, the highest percentage known to exist today is 1.4%, an astronomically small number for coins that already had very small Proof half dollar mintages, especially when you compare them with the Proof half dollars we strike today. If you ever told me that we'd have a proof Kennedy half dollar with less than 900,000 made, I'd say you were lying. <laughs> These stunning coins are in proof 67 condition and are just 69.95. Make sure you call in now and grab yours before they sell out. We're gonna have to put a 30 second clock up, folks. Their phones are very busy. A lot of people buying one of each date, but it is a your choice, so you can grab one uh, out of the three if you'd like. Do you want to get a coin that's 64 plus years old in this 67 grade? They look like they were made uh, within the past year. They're absolutely stunning. Beautiful price, beautiful coin. Join us, folks. Don't miss out. At the end of the day, you're looking at fractions of a percent known, uh, just over a percent, I'm sorry, on each one of these. And out of savings, we got to move on, folks. Don't miss out.